Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Well, as the Digest is growing, we're getting a lot of great feedback, and we're also getting some excellent questions. Let's answer one of those questions today. Tom Travis out of Illinois sent us a message and said, when I'm loading a haversack for a living history event, what should I put in it? There's been a concept in reenacting called haversack stuffers for years. Let's let a veteran talk about his haversack stuffer. Major Small from the 16th Maine was quoted in the 19th Maine's regimental history as saying, One shoulder and the hips support the commissary department, an odorous haversack, which often stinks with its mixture of bacon, pork, salt jerk, sugar, coffee, tea, desiccated vegetables, rice, bits of yesterday's dinners, and old scraps husbanded with miserly care against a day of want sure to come. Oh, the perfume of that haversack. Oh, the perfume of that haversack. Well, that's a great way to hear. Even the veterans who were hungry really questioned the smell of their own food supply. Let's take a look at it. In, early in the Civil War Digital Digest, we did an episode about the complete United States ration. Let's talk here about what John Billings from Hardtack and Coffee calls the marching ration. Billings mentioned the whole ration was available to the men, but on campaign, they typically got hardtack, salt, pork, coffee, and possibly sugar. That's what we'll use today. Well, many accounts we see say that the men were instructed to be issued three days cooked rations or issued three days rations and cooked themselves just before a march. We've done that. Our salt pork has been boiled. Our coffee comes to us roast, whether issued roast or whether roasted before putting in the haversack, either way. Let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're gonna do is get our rations into uh, poke sacks to be ready to go. The salt pork is gonna go into a sanitary commission poke sack that was made for us by Michael Decker. Roast coffee goes into its bag. And we'll, and we'll put the sugar into a separate poke sack. We have read accounts where some soldiers wrote about putting the coffee and the sugar in the same poke sack. We've got a spare one, so we'll keep them separate for today. Okay, I'm ready to load the haversack. I'd love to carry some extra stuff. I've got a writing kit here, I've got a deck of cards, and I've got a handkerchief. Let's see how we do. All right, first in the haversack, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my canteen half. The three pieces of tin we have here are for display. As a veteran, the thought is to carry as little as possible. The canteen half serves as a fry pan, a bowl, and a plate. We'll take that and we will take our silverware. Pushing that against the back, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the salt pork in, and I'm gonna load the coffee and the sugar. Okay, well, the interesting thing is my haversack is already almost half full. Let's go ahead and start to load the crackers. Okay. And that is a full haversack. Well, we have a problem. We have extra crackers. One way the veterans handled this wasn't by throwing away hardtack. It was by eating as soon as they were issued rations. We see that in some accounts where soldiers would say, issued three days rations, ate some, put the rest in my haversack. This could be one reason why. Another thing that I could do is I could take, my, uh, take some of the hardtack and put it in my knapsack or blanket roll, depending on what I'm carrying. And all the extra stuff, well, I'm gonna have to find another place, whether it's a breast pocket for my deck of cards or a pants pocket for my handkerchief, the outside of the haversack or the back of my knapsack for the tin cup or inside the knapsack or blanket roll for the writing kit. What goes in my haversack? Food and the implements to cook it, not much more.
For the Civil War Digital Digest, I'm Will. Thanks for spending time with us today. If you've liked the episode, please hit like here on YouTube and subscribe to the Civil War Digital Digest, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks with another episode.